Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I did a get ready with me fall edition because it's like fall here, okay? I know a lot of people are gonna be like, it's 100 degrees where I am. I'm really sorry to hear that, but like here in Philly, it's not. It's um, it's 60 degrees today. So I'm wearing a t-shirt and a blanket scarf with leggings and cute sandals. So I just wanted to film myself getting ready. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. But yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram and all my socials. And um, without any further ado, if you've already subscribed, then here we go. Watch the video. I guess we'll just get ready. Um, on my face right now, I just have a little bit of rose hip oil that I put on about an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. So I'm just like massaging that more into my skin so that it doesn't break up my foundation. I'll show you guys the look that I'm like going for. I was just on Instagram and I saw this. I follow her. Um, I followed her for a really long time. If you guys don't follow her, you totally should. Uh, her name is Gab XX Riel. She is the girl that makes. Um, oh, this is a screenshot. She's the girl that makes all those amazing recreations on her arm of like eyes and stuff. She was like one of the first people to do it on Instagram and then everyone else started doing it. And I literally followed her when she had like 2,000 followers. She did like this nice, subtle, smoky eye and I want to do that today. And she makes me miss my dark hair because I remember when I would have dark hair and I would do smoky eyes like this. I haven't really done one since I've been blonde because it's honestly it's kind of hard to do a smoky eye when you're blonde you can definitely do it but you have to do it differently than you would with dark hair like you just have to sort of change up how you do your makeup when you have dark hair versus when you have light hair I'm not really in like a crazy mood right now I'm just very zen honestly so sorry if it's like a little boring I guess the Revlon nearly naked foundation I'm using the shade 130 I just like to use darker foundations to give myself a little bit of a tan because I'm just really really pale but normally I have like a little bit of color but literally this summer I didn't get a single ounce of color and I think it's because I uh, like didn't go to the beach I went to the beach like one time I work out so many times in a week that I can't do spray tans because I shower so much that they would literally come off in like less than 24 hours because I've been so pale, I always go in with some sort of uh, cream bronzer just to warm my skin up. So this is the Chanel Tan Du Soleil. And this is super, super natural and it doesn't get cakey. It's very nice. It's definitely a little bit of an investment. Lately, I've been really into making my brows look as flaky as they can. When I was in a relationship with Matt, all my friends were single. Matt and I broke up and I joined all my single friends. We were all having a great time just being single, doing single girl things, just having a single summer. Then I wake up today and I'm on Instagram and I'm like just scrolling or whatever, looking at my friends' stories and looking at all their cute little pictures that they post because my friends are super cute. And I'm looking and I'm like, wait, my one best friend has a boyfriend now. My other best friend just recently started dating this new guy. My other best friend also is with someone. And I, suddenly, the one that was always wifed up, am suddenly the only one that's single. I'm living my single fall life alone. And I didn't even realize it literally until today. I recently got my eyelashes tinted. I mean, it doesn't look like lash extensions. But it looks like I just have these naturally long, gorgeous black eyelashes. And then to set, I'm going to use our CMA No Color Powder. And I just use this powder to set the center of my face. On the outer edges of my face, I use whatever powder I'm using right now. And this one is Neutrogena Skin Clearing Mineral Makeup. And this one just has some color in it. So I put that on the perimeters of my face. So for the smoky eye, hers was like cool tones and stuff, but I want to do, I don't want mine to be as like dark and smoky and like nighttime, so I'm going to do like a daytime brunch warm toned smoky eye glam. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Palette. I'm first going to take Puree. This is going to be like a super basic, I'm sure you guys have seen this look everywhere. You guys are probably going to get mad at me because I'm doing it. Just a basic look. 
last night, oh my god, this is funny. So last night, um, I was super exhausted because I woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday morning and I didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m. the night before. So I only got two hours of sleep. And, you know, all day I was a little tired, but I was feeling like pretty strong, pretty good. Like I was like, I'm not even that tired, but like when I'm done doing all my stuff, I'm just going to go home and like relax tonight. Like I'm not going to do anything crazy. Go home and I sit on my couch. It's like 730 and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to like chill here for a little bit. I know I start taking a nap because I'm like, I should take a nap. So I take a nap. I wake up. It's 630 in the morning of the next day. And I'm like, oh my God, like I literally just slept for 11 hours. That was like an 11 hour nap. That's, I've never done that. Like I must have been exhausted. I'm gonna take Summer Yum and I'm gonna blend this lower crease down onto like the upper half of my lid. I love this brush by um, Vanity Planet and I really like it because it's like flat, but it's dome shaped at the same time. It's amazing for looks like this. Where you wanna place a color in the crease, but see, it already brings it down onto the lid at the same time. Anyone else have a favorite eyelid? This morning I made the most 2017 sounding meal ever. I made a gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free, paleo banana bread. A little bit of this shade right here called Peach Pit on the lid. And I'm using like a lighter brush to blend those two together. Key here is to just keep blending. Then, this is super, super easy, it's not that complicated. It's gonna take Tempting, which is that black. And I'm just gonna smoke that on the upper lash line. Like that. And then you have a little gradient daytime, fall time smokes. Lower lash line. And I'm going to take Summer Yum, which was that second shade that we put into our crease. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This has no product on it. It's a little smaller. And blend that out. I feel like Kim Kardashian and all of her collab videos with the YouTubers because she's so zen in all of them. And so like calm. I'm gonna take a little bit of peach pit and smoke that. I'm just gonna layer that on top of Summer Yum. See what a difference that makes? Then I'm gonna take it on a different brush. This one's not wet. And just pop it underneath my lower or my eyebrow. Then I'm just gonna rim my tight line and waterline with a black eyeliner. This is Urban Decay 24-7 in zero. So on my upper lashes, I use Benefit They're Real first, and then I go in with Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then on my lower lash line, I use the Clinique Fit Waterproof Sweatproof Mascara. Me neither, but that brush line really Ha ha. Okay, so this is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I load up on bronzer. I really, like, honestly depend on my bronzer to make me look human again like see don't i just look better even if you don't contour your nose i definitely think you should put bronzer down your nose champagne pop by jacqueline hill no blush because i don't like blush i'm not about the blush life and then lips i'm just gonna do lip gloss um, i switch between lip glosses throughout the day but when i'm doing my makeup this is what i always put on it's sugar rimmed but dazzle glass that is the makeup i'm gonna add a little bit of black to this outer corner here to make everything just blend a little bit better doesn't it it just look i just have more depth like that just looks like i'm like super weird and heavy yeah i might have went a little heavy-handed just now but okay let me go get my hair clip because that's essential for my hair i think i'm gonna wear a t-shirt and a blanket scarf it might be a little too early for the blanket scarf but i'm kind of looking for it at the same time i don't really know I will decide, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm gonna go eat a slice of my banana bread before I have to head out to lunch. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more videos, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.